Okay, guys, to do this experiment, you're going to need a clamp and a clamp stand. You're going to need a small measuring cylinder and a funnel. You're going to need the two indigestion remedy bottles, indigestion remedy A and indigestion remedy B. You're going to need a beaker, some universal indicator, the universal indicator chart. This piece of equipment, which is called a burette, and then a small beaker with some acid in it that I will fill from the big bottle. And lastly, a little white towel. So the first thing to do when doing an experiment is put your glasses on. Now I want to set up my burette. So I'll attach the clamp to the clamp stand. I'm going to turn it to 90 degrees so that it can hang over the table. I'm going to attach my burette to it. I want my burette to be quite low down so that the top is at eye level. Put in the funnel. Make sure that the tap is horizontal. That means that the acid can't pour out of it. Let me show you. Like that. Vertical and the liquid will pour straight through. Then I'm going to put in the acid into the burette using the funnel. And fill it right up. Oops. To zero. I've gone past zero. That's not a problem. I can fill it up a fraction and just twist with the tap and let it slowly pour down until the meniscus is just above the zero. I've done that. Let's just work with my burette. I'm going to twist it. I'm going to heighten it slightly. I'm going to put the white tile underneath. Then I'm going to get the alkali that I want to use. So I'll find indigestion remedy A and take 25 millilitres of that using the measuring cylinder. Put it down so that I can see the eye level when you reach 25 millilitres. drops three, four, five. I don't want it to be too dark because I want to see the change through the white tile. Now I'm going to turn the burette so I can see the numbers. With one hand I'm going to control the tap and the other I'm going to swirl my liquid. Just letting it come out very slowly, drop by drop. Keep swirling. I want it to be neutralised, so I want the colour to turn green. That means that the acid has reacted with the alkali and they've cancelled each other out. Keep swirling. Just being very careful. It's getting quite a lot of pink now. So I swirl and try and get rid of it. It comes back to purple. Very careful. There's a lot of pink there, so swirl and try and get rid of it. I'm looking. I can see that the pH has just changed, that's pH 12 instead of pH 14. And within a couple of drops, I've changed. I believe that that is pH 7. And when I've done that perfectly, I can see how much acid I've used. Now, I want to repeat this with remedy B. 
You can top up your acid if you'd like, or you can remember where you started from and take that away. It depends on how confident you are with the maths. Remember that if you're topping up your burette, you need to bring it down because you never pour above your head.